Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to a midweek emergency video here, and I am literally in the middle of working in the shop right over there, powder coating stuff. However, I had to stop here um, because we have breaking news middle of the week here that I wanted to touch on. Because once again, this is another thing where we start to report on something and everyone calls us crazy. So uh, myself, Chris Cooksey, Johnny Hopper, we have all been talking about how Webb was going to leave KTM at the end of the season here. And everyone said, oh, you're nuts. He's not going to. And then it started to slowly roll out that, oh, maybe he was going to go back to star Yamaha. Now, it had been rumored for a long time here that Webb actually wanted to race World Supercross instead of racing outdoors. However, uh, KTM doesn't really want to support World Supercross in any fact whatsoever. Uh, so they would not let him go, essentially. They wouldn't let him ride a different bike or anything like that. Um, they they legitimately just told him no. So very late in the game, what ended up happening is Webb signed a deal because his deal originally was for Supercross only this year, and then he would go to Star next year. Uh, so late in the game, he signed a deal to ride the outdoor season, but the deal was he had to start at round one. He could not come in midway through the season. So Webb signed it um, and began riding outdoors here. I think it was like the week before the outdoors even started. Um, he had been, Webb and AP have been developing that KTM bike here to over the last year. That was part of Webb's kind of sabbatical last summer of going off is he was trying to figure out how to develop this bike because it it's pretty well known at this point that the 23 KTM, not the greatest, not the most fan favorite as far as riders go to the bike. Um, but anyway, it looked like Webb was going to ride, uh, most of the outdoor series and then through the SMX rounds. And then the rumblings started, uh, last week during the off week, right before Redbud. So Cooper, all of the sudden, actually the news breaks from Chris Cooksey that Webb has signed, actually signed the, uh, Star Yamaha deal. Um, I've talked to a couple of sources that I have, and they said that deal was actually done a longer time ago. And from what I understand, probably one of the original plans with him riding WSX was he was going to ride a Yamaha in World Supercross before KTM put the complete kibosh on that. Um, so that comes out last week, and then miraculously, Webb doesn't ride red bud it comes out that his deal has been signed with star yamaha he's going to star yamaha next year and then miraculously he's and i'm air quoting this hurt uh and cannot ride uh red bud now we have heard some behind the scenes stuff and what we'd actually heard was that uh in trying to develop the bike better and part of the rebound this year of the KTM and Webb being able to ride ride it better. Um, Webb has actually developed the bike with the stock air forks on there. Uh, KTM did not want him to run the stock air forks. They did not want Plessinger to run the stock air forks. What they wanted was for them to go back to cone valves because selling the aftermarket cone valve kit for the KTM bikes is a very, very profitable deal uh, for everyone involved. WP suspension, KTM, whole nine yards. So with Webb and AP doing better without running the cone valves, it was actually um, not advantageous for KTM. So what I've been hearing behind the scenes here is that KTM actually came in and took uh, the stock suspension that Webb and Plessinger had been developing. Um, so if anyone's kind of wondering why Plessinger wasn't quite as great at Redbud as what he's been, from my understanding, he's back on cone valve suspension. Now, Plessinger is probably not in a financial position strictly because his career hasn't been quite as good as Webb to tell KTM to fuck off. Plus, Plessinger still wants to ride motocross and supercross as far as I know. Uh, so he kind of has to play ball and go with it. Um, Webb, on the other hand, obviously had one foot out the door anyway with 
with signing the deal to go back to star um they come in so what happens is ktm comes in takes the uh, takes the suspension from Webb, this this uh, uh, stock air suspension that he's been developing, that he's riding, that, that feels better for him. And KTM comes in and says, nope, you're only going to ride cone valve the rest of the year, blah, blah, blah. And Webb turns to them and basically tells them to fuck off and then is injured uh, and can't ride Red Bud. Um, now, breaking news here, as we said uh in midweek between Redbud and Southwick, which we all were kind of questioning when Webb was going to come back, uh, KTM USA puts a post up on Instagram officially announcing that them and Cooper Webb have separated ways. So this creates an entire new scenario here of what the hell's going on. Um, like I said, we all know that Webb is uh, Webb is going to the star yamaha bike for next year the question now becomes does web go to a star yamaha bike before that um i'm not sure if we'll see him outdoors i've heard a lot of rumblings that we may see web on a star bike for the smx rounds uh the other interesting factor now is do we see web at any world supercross rounds this fall um, now that he's obviously separated himself from KTM, it's very strange, uh, for these companies to put anything out prior to like the, uh, end of the season, October 1st deadline, like we normally get. It's even more strange when you're literally mid season and he has a contract. So I assume he's bought his way out of his contract or something to that. Maybe he... N- Maybe he hasn't even bought his way out. Maybe it, maybe it was a mutual uh, agreement to break up here. We'll see what we find out. I'm sure there's going to be more information. Like I said, I literally was just working. And my phone started to blow up with this information here. Um, and like I said, I just want to flip the camera on and kind of make an emergency video, kind of laying out everything that I know in the background here that's been happening around the whole Cooper Webb KTM situation. As I just stated, I'm super interested to see, do we see him on a Yamaha before, do we see him on a Yamaha before the end of outdoors? Maybe. It would not surprise me at all. Bobby Regan over there at Star is ruthless. So if the deal's done with Webb, and at this point Webb wants to get a jump on developing the bike, maybe Webb just comes out and rides the last three outdoors on a Star Yamaha. They don't have Eli Tomac, so they're only running one 450 right now in Dylan Ferrandis. So maybe that's what we see. And then we see him run the SMX on that because at this point right now, he's, and I don't have this pulled up. If he's not, he's very close to leading the S, the SMX points here for going into Super Motocross. Let me see here if I can find anything. Um, let's go to super duper motocross. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Um, uh, well, shoot. I cannot seem to find anything here. There's MX points. There's 250 overall points here. This was June 16th. 450 motocross points. He was in second behind Chase. Let's see here. Do we have an updated one? Oh, here we go. Right here. This was... June 20th. So Webb had taken. So after High Point, Webb had officially taken over the lead from Sexton there. Let's see. Do we have another updated one? Ah, here we go. Okay, cool. So following Red Bud here, it looks like Webb's in second place, only seven points behind Sexton. So with that being said here, there. no matter what I say, 
or what me and Justin say or anyone of us says about the super motocross thing. There's a lot of money up for grabs with the with the super duper motocross. Um, and Webb's not stupid. Webb likes money just like everyone else. Um, if you go into super motocross in the lead, when you start off, you have X amount of points. Uh, they reset the points, but you have X amount of point lead to start with. I will not be surprised to see Webb at any of these final um, outdoor rounds. I don't know that we'll see him this weekend, but it would not surprise me to see Webb at Millville, Washougal, or any of those last three there, Buds, Unadilla, and Iron Man, um, strictly to grab points. I think he believes that he can run with Sexton, and especially if he gets on that Yamaha, we'll see. I, I don't know. This is a super interesting developing story, and I'm sure coming up with our with our wrap up show from um, uh, from Southwick this weekend, we will have much much more on this story. But like I said, I just wanted to jump on and do a quick breakdown um, of what we knew and what was happening with the Web KTM breakup. So comment down below if you saw this coming. Comment down below if you think that we're going to see Cooper Web. Um, on a blue bike here before the end of the outdoor season. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in to this midweek news update, and we will see everyone um, on the next actual Moto Aftermath show wrapping up Southway. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. See ya.